Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess 2 Progress with number 6 in the series Tactics. This one is for beginners and improving players, so the tactics that I will show in this video are a bit easier, or you can say a lot easier, than the tactics videos from the past. And I would really be really interested to know if this is the level of tactics that you enjoy, or that you don't enjoy, you want them even more easy, or you want them more difficult, or this is the right level for the chess to progress audience, please let me know. I have six tactics puzzles, and if you want to practice your tactic skills, you should put a video on hold when I show the position, so you can try it for yourself before I give the solution. Let's get into it. This is the first one, white to play and win. Material is about equal. What strikes is that the knight is attacked by the pawn on g6, but that pawn is pinned by the queen to the king, so that knight is not really attacked by the pawn. And white has an attacking position. The rook on a7 looks very threatening. And also queen and knight are close to black's king. How white can win this game, you should always look at forced moves first. And here there's a forced move. Of course, check is a very forced move. So there is an, an obvious check here. Knight h6, check. And the king has to go. And it also opens up an attack from the queen on g4 to the queen on e6. So with knight h6, check. King h8. Queen takes e6, white wins a full queen, and will, that will win him the game. So knight d6 check is a solution to this tactics puzzle with the discovered attack on the queen. Next one. In this position it is black to play and win. Again let's look at the position. Two rooks, bishop and knight for white, two rooks and two bishops for black. And how can black win here? Again, we should look at forced moves. And check is always a forced move. So there is a check in the position. Bishop takes d4. Of course, that piece can be taken back. Rook takes d4. But then the bishop on c6 is unprotected. So by taking on d4, white does not have time to take on d7 because white is in check. So he has to deal with, he has to deal with the check first. So taking the bishop makes sense, but then the bishop on c6 is unprotected. The other way around doesn't work. You cannot take first on c6 because then the knight just takes and there's nothing happening for black. But by taking the knight first with check, you can win the bishop on c6. Next one. Here it's white to play and win. It looks like an opening position. Many of the pieces are still at home. And how can white win here? What tactic does he have? Well, what should strike the eye is that the king on e8 is a bit loose. Not shielded well by black pieces and there is another force move available a check queen d1 to h5 check wins a piece here for white black is in check so you have to do something about it you can interpose the queen or you can play g6 and then the bishop on c5 is unprotected so it's always look to look for it's always good to look for Force moves like checks, and also it's good to spot unprotected pieces. In this case, the bishop on c5 is not protected by a black piece, and you always should look for ways to make use of that. And in this case, you can give a check, attack that bishop at the same time, and win that bishop. Let's go to the next one. Here it's again white to play and win. Lots of black pieces are still at home. White is much better developed. That knight is attacked by the pawn, but not really because the pawn is pinned. But what can we do here? 
why to play in win. It's similar to the previous position. The king is a bit unsafe there. And let's look for forced moves. Well, in this case, we have a mating attack, a mating combination involving a queen sacrifice. Queen g6 check is a very spectacular move, but it wins on the spot. It's important that the knight is covering the e7 square. After queen g6 check, black only has one response, that is to take the queen. And then bishop takes g6 is a very nice checkmate with, with bishop and knight. So again a force move based on the unsafe position of the black king. And we can even sacrifice our queen to get to this checkmate. Very nice. Let's go to the fifth position. And again it's white to play and win. This is an end game. Queen and bishop versus queen and bishop. And what can we do with white? Of course the queens are eyeing up each other. Taking the queen doesn't give us much. But do we have something else? Again, we have to look for forced moves, and a check is always a forced move. We have two checks. Bishop g7 doesn't do much, because the king, of course, cannot take the bishop then, because otherwise the queen will be unprotected. But it can go to e7. And let's look at the other check. Bishop b4, and that works. It is check. The king has to flee. No other option, king g7, and then the queen on e8 is unprotected, and white wins a full queen. Let's look at the last position. Again, white to play and win. White has two rooks and a bishop, black has two rooks and a bishop. And what can we do here? We said we always look at first moves, but in this case there's no checks available, there's no captures that are strong. So we have to look at something else. Well, what strike would, should strike the eye is that the rooks on b6 and d8 are a bit awkwardly placed, especially because of, of that bishop on f4. The solution is bishop f4 to c7, forking both rooks. And you cannot save them both at the same time. So after a move like rook bb8, the bishop takes on b8, rook takes b8, and white has won an exchange with a nice bishop fork. Hope you liked this video. As I said at the start of the video, I would be really interested to see if this level of puzzles, this level of tactics, would be interesting for the audience of Chess to Progress. Please let me know if you like this, or if it's too easy, or if it's still too difficult, that's also fine. And I will adjust accordingly. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess 2 Progress channel. I'm looking forward to your comments. And if you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on YouTube. You also may want to check out my Chess 2 Impress channel. The link is in the description box. This is Rick from Chess 2 Progress. Thank you very much for watching.